right, what is up everyone? Today I got a quick video for you guys. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons between running in angled red dot versus a top mount red dot as a secondary sighting system on your rifle. Now my angled setup is an LMT MRP. This is a 16 inch rifle, has a Badger Condition 1 mount, a Trigagon Credo 1 to 8, first focal plane, LPVO, and the angle dot is a Holosun 509T. For the top mounted setup, this is a Knight's Armament SR15, 14 and a half inch, pinned and welded. The mount is a Reptilia absolute height mount with a EOTech Voodoo uh, 1 to 6 power LPVO with the SR1 reticle, which is also first focal plane. And our top dot is a Holosun 509T as well. So why use a red dot as a secondary or backup sight on your rifle? Well, the answer to that is the same reason why we use optics over iron sights. Focusing on that front sight causes your target to be blurry versus in a red dot, you focus on that dot or reticle and your target will also be clearly in focus. You can also use your dot in a multitude of situations other than just as a backup. My favorite of which is transitioning from magnification to one power by simply rotating your rifle. The same technique will also work for a top mounted dot, except for when you roll your rifle, you'll actually be using your non-dominant eye to see through the red dot. Now it's a little bit weird getting used to it at first, but it's still very fast and effective. Another benefit of using a top or angled red dot is that it helps you with night vision. It's a lot easier to get behind a red dot with unlimited eye relief than it is to try and find the proper eye box behind a magnified optic. With an angle dot, you just need to make sure that you don't hit your scope or your rifle. This is a lot less of a concern when using a top mount because you have unlimited left and right movement. You just need to make sure that you don't go too low to hit your magnified optic. So now the question is, should I go angled or top mount for my red dot? The most common configuration is going angled simply because your primary and secondary optics are both using your dominant eye. You also have the advantage of having both optics at roughly the same height over bore, meaning your holdovers are the same and you should have no point of impact shift transitioning between either of the optics. This is a demonstration of the point of impact shifts and height over bore differences between both optics. These shots are taken from 10 yards while aiming at the X at the center of the head. With a top mount red dot, because your optic is actually shifting from left to right as you transition, you will actually have a slight point of impact shift in the opposite direction of the way that you are rotating the rifle. Another advantage to running a top mount or angle mounted red dot on your rifle is that when running hard armor and trying to get a good placement of your buttstock in your shoulder pocket, when trying to get a normal sight picture, you're stretching your neck out to the right and over quite a bit. Instead, what I do to alleviate that is I'll roll the rifle inward a little bit so that I get a more comfortable neck position. It also puts me in perfect position to use my top or angle mounted dot. Just pop it up with a little bit of cant, and I got a nice sight picture. So what is the right solution for you? If you only shoot from your right side, don't want to use your non-dominant eye, or just want to be as fast as possible, the angle dot will be a good fit. If you shoot under night vision regularly, or train shooting from both right and left sides, 
and the top mount will be more versatile even though you have to learn how to use your non-dominant eye. So that's all I have for you guys. If you found this helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe. Tell me what you want to see next in the comments. And most importantly, get out and train because there are a lot of people that buy guns, can't shoot, and I don't want you to be one of them. Catch you later. It is a serious pain to do your hair with a plate carrier.